Hello again, everybody. Class Friday 7 here, and we're back on the SSN. Let's continue exploring this last floor. Alright, got the first room here. Got an old man. I've run it far away, but in all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was something like this. A Snorlax! I've seen that guy already. Who's on the end of Route 109? Come by that. Another room here. Got two trainers. A fisher. Check out what I fished up. Yeah, I don't know. Probably like a tentacle or something. Close to you possibly caught. Fisherman Dale would like to battle. Goldine. He's in Goldine yet. Ooh, go class fear. We're gonna just, just wreck him as we always do. Man, mega punch. Why not? I haven't used it in a while. And goodbye, Goldine. It was nice knowing you. Yeah, but everything else went. Or just instantly disintegrates. And he's gone. Well, 38. Nice, nice. Well, 38. And again, pretty decent stack growth there. Tentacool. Uh, no need to switch, because, you know, soul runs and stuff. And another mega punch in the face. And the, the tentacle's gone. I mean, this is how it works every time. To a point where we just literally one shot just about everything, and so that makes this fight, all the fights, really sinking easy. And another Goldeen. You know, clearly need another Goldeen right here. Another Mega Punch takes care of it. Do you think, like, punching him with, like, right on the horn would hurt me instead of just him? But I don't know. It's Pokemon logic. Who cares? I'm all out. Oh, you're all out? Dang it. Maybe you should go fast, catch more fish. And go to this item box and then to compete against the young Keys of Youthful. Being interrupted by this old man again. Cause you know. Just the Brooks. Hey Pikachu! Oh no, I'm so terrified. Cause I'm a water type. Oh wait, I'm gonna one shot him. I don't actually care. So there we go, problem solved. Yep. Uh like it's kind of odd how water moves are decent against electric types, but whatever. Good match. Oh, I feel young again. So much money. I love that gentleman, because they do so much money, it's just awesome. A startup, which we can sell for even more money. You know, it's a good room for money, apparently. Alright, next room. What have we got here? Two old guys. Small trees can be chopped down using a move cut. But remember this, cut is an HM technique. Once learned, it's not so easily discarded. Yep, I knew that. Oh yes, I've seen the seems to Pokemon ferry people, ferry people across the water. Have you? Because, you know, fishing and, or not fishing, surfing and stuff. Yep. Next room, we got another battle here. I want to one of the item. I don't I saw you at the party. I was not at the party. I got here late. I should logically even be here. I just took someone else's ticket. They gave it to me. Last time, it's not a Rattata. Because you know, Rattatas are so terrifying. Whatever we do against a Rattata. Oh yeah, ah, uh, bite. And then he's gone. Yay. This is kind of the play where it's just so simple. That's the fun part of it. Now, Pikachu! Oh no, whatever we'll do against Pikachu. I don't know, maybe, uh, Water Pulse? There we go. Gone. D. I don't think anything I can't one-shot at this point, as long as I'm using the right move. I mean, yeah. Perfect, last on. Take it easy! Why? There's no fun in that. That's what item we got here. Got an X attack, which I'll probably immediately sell. Because I never use this anyway. And another battle gentlemen. Which do you find more worthy? A strong or a rare Pokemon? Well, generally, rare Pokemon tend to be stronger, so if you find a rare Pokemon, it is rare and strong. This is how legendaries tend to be. But I don't know, I think you go for something that I in, like in general. Like Growlithe, Growlithe is awesome. I just wanted Fire Red, actually. And then Arcanine in the end, pretty awesome. I actually have him currently traded out to my current copy of X and Y. Yes, my entire team from my Fire Red playthrough I still have with me. Because they're just that awesome. Super effective! And a Ponyta! I have just been training up plenty of time recently. Cause, you know, filling the Pokedex stuff is fun. Well, I, I, it's already filled. I was OCD about levels and whatnot, so I'm retraining a Pony Talk, because it was too high level. And many of the Raptors were lower level when it was evolved, so yeah. The things I do for my Pokedex. <laughs> I'm a bit insane sometimes. Player for Gentleman Lamar. $1,200 Pokedex, nice. There's actually a street nearby named Lamar. What do you know? Yeah, I'm missing the door, because I'm awesome like that. Uh, next room. What have we got in here? An old guy. Have you gotten to the Safari Zone in Fuchsia City? There are many kinds of rare Pokemon. No, I don't tell you rare Pokemon. I am well aware. Me and my dad think the Safari Zone is awesome. Oh, did we go there again? I'm not looking forward to that. I'm seeing 1% Chansey, like, that's just not gonna be fun at all. Do not want. I hear many people get seasick. The captain says he's awfully sick. He was all pale. How does a captain get seasick? Like, that seems really logical. Like, you'd be your captain, you'd simply get used to it, and it just wouldn't happen, but whatever. Alright, so if you're coming up this way, you're gonna find Drival up here, so once you're ready to go ahead and up here, heal if you need to before or whatnot, so yeah. That is you here, Sai. Were you really invited? Sai's Pokedex coming. I already got 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. 
walk around the grassy areas but look hard for them. Okay, I have an issue with what he says here. Because he's got 40 different kinds of Pokemon. Not physically possible at this point in the game. So my Pokedex is at, I think it's 33% at this point. Or not 33%, 33 different Pokemon I have. And that's like with evolutions and stuff I shouldn't have normally in the game. So I mean, there's... I could have up to 40 at this point. I know I still could be, get a Pidgeotto, which he has currently. Um, Raticate. I could also have... His, his, all my Bulbasaur shouldn't even have at this point. As well as a few others. So I mean, it's possible I could have gotten Niblet K by this one. Already got Niblet and Duck Trio as well. But it's just not physically possible to have caught for your Pokemon. You can like have total... Oh, why do I use Water Pulse? I'm, I'm just grappling here. But no, you can have a total of 40 Pokemon in your Pokedex. And you can't possibly have caught 40 different kinds, unless he's gone to some other routes that we can't get to yet. Yeah, you see Powder Mist. That's useful. Unless you've gone to, like, other routes where we can't get currently, which, even if he's done that, you think you would have something from there, but it, it's just not visually possible, what he says. And I, I have tried it. I have I played through once, actually trained everything up with Jenkins Just Fire right at this point. See if I can have 40 Pokemon with me. And you can have Pokedex at 40, but you can't have caught 40 Pokemon, so don't believe him, he's lying to you. I am, I'm just sleeping his team and paying no attention. Oh man, this this part honestly, it just irks me that he says that, and it's just not possible. Level 39, yay! That's a lot of special defense, my gosh, I'm getting tanky. Woohoo, this is why Blastoise solo is awesome, it gets so stinking tanky. And a Kadabra, it knows moves now, it can actually do damage! And I'm just gonna bite it, and it's gone. So yeah, I literally just set this entire team, I took zero damage that entire fight, what the heck. That was way too stinking simple. I to defeat rival Gary. Humph. At least you're raising your Pokemon. Yes, I'm raising well, my one Pokemon, which is still a pretty sick and awesome because, you know, Blastoise and stuff. I heard there was a Cup Master on board, but, it was, but he was just a seasick old man. Cut himself is really useful. Yep, it'll be handy. You should go see him too. Smell ya! What is with you with the people? I don't know. Whatever. And Gary disappears, never to be seen again. Go up here. Captain Urg, I feel hideous. Or seasick. Oh no. I hope the captain's back. Bra, 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 bra. <laughs> That's the only possible way to swing that drink will there. Oh yeah, thank you. I feel so much better now. You want to see my hidden cut technique? I can show you my prized cut technique if I weren't so ill. I know, you can have this hidden machine. Please cut your Pokemon you can see it cut anytime. Paint HM01 from the captain. Sweet. The HM01 on the TMK, TMK is using cut, you can chop down small trees. Why not try it with the trees around Ver Vermilion City? So I got a cut right here. I think we're going to go ahead and take it out and teach it. To our HM slave, which I deem to be far fetched, or ding, I see his name here. Train set! Absorb the power of the CD. And he let it both cut now. Yay! I was gonna use far fetched. Like, far fetched is just not good. I'm sorry, he just isn't. Compared to, like, Spiro or Pidgey, like, for the early birds, he's so, he's just he's just not good. It's not worth it to trade a Spiro for a far fetched. Far fetched never evolves. Like, I half wish they'd give, like, a mega evolution just mess with people. That'd be pretty funny. Alright, so be careful when you leave the boat. If you leave after getting cut, you cannot get back on. Because you can see, excuse me, as you can see here, the boat just sails away. Now for the basin again, and you can't get back on. Which is really sucky, because like, imagine if you like left something on the boat, like you lost your shoe or something, you forgot to have a coat, like and it just sails away without you, and like really you just lose that stuff forever. Because they just want to leave. Like, what about everyone else that's still on the boat? Like, are they just stuck there forever? Because we sure can't do anything. Uh, it, does, it does auto move you back up, it's not moving anything, so yeah. Can I get back on? Ship set sail. Of course, it's set sail. So it means you can't go back, which is really crappy, but whatever. That's just how it happens. Alright, so I got cut. I'm going to do something else. Go over towards Route 11 again and into Diglett's Cave. And guess what you can find in Diglett's Cave? Have you guessed yet? If you guessed Diglett, you're right. Wasn't this a surprise? Diglett built this long tunnel. Did Diglett do that? Go right to Virgin City, they tell me. It does, believe it or not. So we're going to head on down into Diglett's Cave. And we can find in here uh, Diglett. And one of the Pokemon is actually going to be its evolution, uh, Doug Trio. Diglett you can find at 95% in here, and Doug Trio the remaining 5%. Gosh dang it, Arena Trap. Uh, I have to kill every single one I find, aren't I? I, I guess I one-shot it. Well then. I have to catch one again eventually, I guess. I mean, probably get the next one I find. I mean, it's a long tunnel. You're gonna run into tons of Diglets down here anyway, so... You may as well get used to find running into them. Another one! Alright, so Diglett has 50% chance of finding both male and female. They're like most things, honestly, so, yeah. Go ahead and chuck a Pokeball at it and see what happens. Pokeball right here, and... Let's see what we got here. One. Two. Oh, I got away immediately. Oh, it appeared to be caught. Will you scratch? How dare you? He did more damage to me than Gary did. 
Alright, let's just switch over to Club Bear, see if we can maybe get some ship damage. Oh, we're gonna try about something to trade, change out. Gosh dang it, I forgot. Alright, whatever, we're gonna check Pokeball until I catch one. Shouldn't be that long, he's pretty low level, so it should be pretty easy to catch. Uh, oh, or you're just gonna be a jerk and immediately get to escape. Why not? Totally what I wanted to happen. Not. Another Pokeball. Uh, there we go. Really? Gosh dang it. It's not this hard, it's a simple diglet. He's hit with a cool critical hit. Did so much damage, he's terrifying. Better than Gary did. That's all I can say. <laughs> so let's go let's try for it again. One, two, three, click. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Gotcha, Diglett was caught. Yay, for catching a Diglett. Diglett said it was added to the Pokedex. 50. Lives about one yard underground, where it feeds on plant roots. It sometimes appears above ground. Yeah, it's that happens occasionally. You have a nickname? Nah, I don't need for a nickname. Uh, let's keep heading on through Diglett Cave. And see what else you can run into. Michael's run Dig Trio is pretty rare, honestly, so I mean, wow, this is a long burst without running into anything. Normally, you run into like 15 Diglets in here. Sweet, what have we got here? Another Diglet, of course. I'm just gonna kill those. I'm not worried about the Arena Trap, because it probably has it. Most of them have the ability to Arena Trap, which is, yep, Arena Trap. Gosh dang it. Let's just kill it. I was hoping maybe, maybe I'm able to just leave, but no, he had to be a jerk about it. Whatever, more experience, I guess, that I don't need, because, you know, solo runs and whatnot. Ah, <sighs> yep, just a long winding tunnel. What have we got here? Hey, Doug Trio! Doug Trio's actually pretty rare, but it said 5%, so I mean, I guess I may as well try and catch it while I'm here. I'll see how much damage I do with Bite. Um, not bad, I can give another Bite in. Hey, Flinch! Sweet. I'll get one more Bite in here. So why not? Alright, I'm pretty low, and I use a Dig. Of course, I use a Dig. So you actually can't catch him while he's dug underground because you just can't target it with the Pokeball, so I'm just gonna waste a move here. I always feed him anyway, so use a dig. Now we can go down to the Pokeball and come ahead to when I catch him. Hey, one, two, three. There we go. That took way too sneaking long. I burned through a good, I don't know, 15 Pokeballs trying to catch him. I don't want that many, but you know, better do. Add to the Pokedex. A team of Diglett triplets. It triggers fruit to earthquakes by burrowing 60 miles underground. Okay, that's a bit terrifying. That's ridiculously far underground. Like, my gosh. Nickname, not a name for you. And they look and stares out. That was actually a pretty fast run to do with cave. Not bad. I went inside Rock Tunnel, but it's pitch black and scary in there. I can get a Pokemon to slash and light it up. I want, what, Rock, oh, Rock Tunnel, not Diglett's Cave. I was gonna say, like, Diglett's Cave is lit up. Rock Tunnel, on the other hand, is not. So we're going to suit. Hey, look, Route 2, we've been here before. So is something back here? No. I thought there was. I don't know. I feel like there is all the time, but there isn't. So the house right here. This is actually where why I need to get, get an extra Abra. We talk to this kid up here. Look at this Pokemon Abra. Want to trade one for trade one for Mr. Mime? Sure, why not? Have an Abra. Ta-da! Abra was sent to Riley. Bye bye Abra. So yeah, this is why you need the extra, extra Abra if you want to try and get a Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime's actually pretty darn good. I've used one in the past. I have not used an Abra actually, which I feel bad for never having used. But normally I just can't trade, so I just don't bother because I can't get Final Evolution. But I mean, yeah, Mr. Mime's pretty cool. The fun thing about Mr. Mime is it's possible for him to be male and female, so... Mime and Yeah, weirdest nickname ever. Any in-game trades give you nicknames, like, we have Chudig and Mime Ian now, which are just pretty funny nicknames. But yeah, uh, Mr. Mime actually can be male or female, which is kind of funny. So let's see what mine is, actually. We got male, okay. So, nothing surprising there. Plain Pokemon says, no energy left to battle. It can still use with, like, cut outside of battle. That's useful to know. Even if your Pokemon's fainted, you can still use Cut and other moves outside of battle, which is nice. But yeah, I want to wait to come here until I add Cut, so I can go ahead and explore down here, because there's a few other things you can do as well. So that's Ding using Cut for us. Head on down, and if I'm actually aid here, I'm going to talk to him. Hi, remember me? I'm, I want to learn a Professor Oak's aids. If your Pokemon says complete dead on 10 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. This will trust me with HMO5 for you. So, Sai, let me ask you. Have you got the data on at least 10 times Pokemon? I have! I on 38, that's a lot. Professor, here you go. HMO5 from the aid, which is Flash, which we'll use in the Alchemon Cave. So yeah, pretty useful there. All right, if you keep heading on down, we're gonna see, you got a few items here back on Route 2. Got an Ether, which I mean, I honestly never use those things. I might, because it's a soul run, but otherwise I feel like they're a waste on Olivia. And Paralyzed Heal, always good to have. I just never understood why they give you so many sneaking Ethers and whatnot, because like, you rarely ever need them, except for like the Elite Four occasionally. I thought there might be an item down here, but I guess there isn't one anywhere, whatever. Right, so we're gonna do, go back and gosh dang I traded the app but I forgot. I, what I was gonna do was be sneaky here and just use teleport to get back to the other Pokemon Center. But I just have to run all the way sneaking back. Cause I traded the traded Abra for the Mr. Mime. Sneaking Mr. Mime, messing up all my plans. 
whatever. So what we're gonna do is go up here to this really odd cave up here. I don't know why they put a cave in here. Like you just walk into the cave and watch this. You just walk into the cave and you teleport out another cave. Oh, oh, okay, I guess that works. Whatever, that's really odd. Well, do you even bother having a cave like this? It's a good teleport point, I guess. But that's just really weird. Whatever. Yay, magic of editing of magic. Ma yeah, words. Yay, magic of editing. <laughs> okay, so let me heal up real quick. And that's about a good point to end off here. Got some progress. I have three new Pokemon from Pokedex, which is not bad at all. So, yeah, that's a good point to end off here. And I will see you guys. I don't know if I'll talk to her again. Gosh damn. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Alright, see you guys then. Bye.